Hi, and welcome to the PHP testing screencast series. Uh, my name is Eric Lee Stewart, and this screencast is going to be about building a PHP test environment on Mac OS X 10.6. We're going to start out on the um, PHP wiki for uh, TestFest 2010. Um, building an, a test environment is important for TestFest contributors and for Q&A team members um, who need to run PHP tests. Um, a, a proper PHP testing environment includes test binaries built for PHP 5.2, 5.3, and trunk. The reason we need all three is that all PHP T um, files should be tested on all the applicable versions for that test, and most tests um, are written um, for core PHP for um, functionality that's available in all versions of of the current PHP. So it's important to have 5.2, and trunk all built um, when you're writing PHP tests. Uh, the task we're going to be performing during this screencast is we're going to build a test environment using the latest snapshots of PHP 5.2, PHP 5.3, and PHP trunk. We're going to use instructions right from the TestFest 2010 wiki page. And those instructions are in going to include downloading um, and running some automated build scripts that I've written. So let's start out by going to the wiki.php.net slash Q&A. QA slash TestFest-2010, which is the official um, uh, wiki page for TestFest 2010. Then in the table of contents, you'll see a link for how can I build a PHP testing environment. That'll take you to that section of the page. And there you'll see um, instructions specifically for Mac OS X Snow Leopard. If you click on that link, that'll take you to the instructions written specifically for Macs. Um, the prerequisite for building a PHP test environment is that you install Xcode. The current version is 3. Um, Xcode is a free download. Um, it's also available on your Mac OS X Snow Leopard installation DVD um, that either came with your Mac or if you purchased Snow Leopard after. Um, it's on that DVD. Um, if you can't find it, um, you can go to um, the Apple page for um, downloading Xcode and uh, I provided the link right in the instructions. So when we click on that we go right to the download the Xcode page. So if you haven't uh, installed Xcode 3 go ahead and download it and then install it. Uh, a little note about Xcode. Um, we're not actually going to use Xcode itself to um, do these builds, but we do need the tools. Um, the scripts that I've written use the tools inside of Xcode to compile, to configure and compile PHP. So, um, once you've installed Xcode, um, the rest of what you're going to do is going to be on the command line. And I have provided um, all of the commands that you're going to run right in this page. Um, some of the longer ones you can just copy right off of this wiki page and paste right into the terminal. So let's go ahead and go to the terminal. Um, in this example we're going to build our test environment on the desktop. So let's cd to the desktop and you'll see that currently there's nothing there. So we're going to go ahead and download our build scripts. So let's enter in the command for downloading the build scripts. And you enter the command and curl will download it and place it in the current directory. So if you do an ls-l, we'll see there's that tgz file, which is a uh, a tar zipped file of the build scripts. The next thing we want to do is extract that tar zip file into a folder with its scripts inside of it. So let's do that. So if we do an ls minus l now, we'll notice that our um, tar zipped archive is still there, but we now have a new folder that has our test scripts in it. So let's go ahead and pull out the, um, the test script that's written specifically for Mac OS X. So we do a CP PHP test script 
and then the Mac OS 10 version. And we're going to copy it to our current directory, which is the desktop. So you can now see there's a Mac OS 10 hyphen 10.6.sh, which is our build script, which is pretty much going to do all the work for us. Um, we want to make sure that this file has execute permissions because it is a script that that um, we're going to execute. So we do a chmod plus x and then the name of the file. And then we simply run that file. Now what this uh, script is going to do is it's going to download um, snap the latest snapshots of all three active versions of PHP which is 5253 and trunk. After it's downloaded the snapshots, it's going to create three folders, PHP 5.2.5.3 and PHP hyphen trunk. After it's created the folders, it's going to extract that source code from each version and place them in the correct folder. After it's extracted the source code, it's going to configure the source code for all three versions. And then it's going to compile. Um, and when it's done, you'll have the source code plus a compiled binary of all three active versions of PHP. Um, this process takes about probably 15 to 20 minutes depending upon the speed of your download and depending upon the, uh, the speed of your processor and memory and stuff like that. Um, one thing to note though, um, while it does um, configure and compile PHP, it does not install it. Um, Installation is not required for running PHP tests. You just need to build a test binary. Um, and also, if you have another version of PHP already installed, um, if you were to try to install one of these, you could um, cause problems with your current versions of PHP. So this kind of builds it in a contained environment um, and and does uh, you know basically um, no damage to any other versions of PHP that may be compiled and built and installed on your system so you know this keeps things kind of self-contained in their own folders um, as I said this process is going to take a while so I'm going to go ahead and um, pause this screencast and then I'll resume once all three versions have been built and once this script has completed So, as you can see, um, our build script has complete. Um, it does some cleanup of itself. It um, removes the old, uh, uh, the uh, some of the files that it downloaded. Um, if we do an ls minus l now, um, you'll notice we got the PHP dash trunk, the PHP five two five three, and those are your um, your pre-built. Um, test environments for the three active versions of PHP. Um, if we want to see that these are actually working, we can go to PHP 5.2, five not 6.2. SAPI CLI PHP, and that's the binary for 5.2. Run a dash V and we'll see PHP 5.2.14 development. Um, we can also do PHP 5.3, SAPI CLI, PHP minus V, gives us PHP uh, 5.3.3 development. And finally, PHP trunk, SAPI CLI, PHP dash V, and that gives us PHP dot three dot ninety nine dash diff um, that's just the current name they're using for trunk um, no decisions been made as to whether the next one's actually going to be php 5.4 or 6.0 so they're currently going with 5.3.99 for the version number for trunk um, so we've got all our binaries ready to go we can now run php tests on all of the active branches of php on mac os 10. We've got some other screencasts that are going to be coming up, uh, building a test environment on Ubuntu, building a test environment on Windows, running tests on Mac OS X, Ubuntu, and Windows, and then we're going to do a series on um, writing um, PHP tests, the different facets of writing your own PHP tees um, if you're a test fest um, contributor or a or you're looking to join the uh, PHP Q&A team and writing PHP tests for um, on an ongoing basis for PHP. Uh, this is my name's Eric Stewart, and um, thank you for watching.